Smart is joining up or integrating packages of economic, social, and technological measures so that they work together. For example, planning development or uh, writing development guidance to take into account uh, infrastructure development and its consequences, such as the impact of increased property values, for example, can be factored into, into development and uh, forward projections. Smart, that's number one. Smart is selecting and scaling programs appropriate to each city and town. One thing that has emerged recently is just, uh, you know, especially in the UK, through the work of the Centre for Cities, of whom I'm a trustee and Tony uh, is, is, um, chairs the research panel, or has done, is how different cities are from each other and how the idea that they can all converge to similar levels of growth and so on is not really tenable. And have a look at the, the Centre for Cities uh, City Facts uh, um, app which actually helps you to understand the differences between UK cities in great detail. And it's these differences and this adaptation of measures to actually the scale and the opportunities really in the city is what I would uh, call smart. In some places, for example, you would actually suggest that there'll be zero growth. But rather than lament the zero growth, how do we deal with that? Now, that would be smart. Smart is joining up with other cities so that the learning spreads. Uh, these, this beautiful graphic, by the way, is a, is a, is a diagram of, of inter worldwide internet connections. Uh, you can just about see the world emerging underneath that. Uh, so some organizations fear, uh, not so much cities necessarily, the idea of sharing too much information on grounds of competitiveness. But that era of hoarding intellectual property is surely over, and I think one of the, one of the features of the smart city will be open data, open sharing of of data in this way, uh, but actually it does come with a caution uh, and I think it requires a kind of a citizenry that is able to, to properly use it. Smart is, this is the hardest bit, smart is thinking uh, in the long term, even when acting in the short term. Uh, now there's a pair of short termist uh, actions here. Uh, one is uh, building the highway without getting the proper permissions and the other is being so stubborn that you won't move. Um, just built in China. Um, this, is, this is the hardest part of SMART, I think. All the arguments made by organizations like the Commission for Architecture and the Built Environment, the RIBA, of course, uh, for considering long-term value in designing and constructing buildings are now falling on deaf ears in an era where immediate costs have become the key, key criterion for, um, uh, for public sector contract award. Yes, planning has its unforeseen consequences and more unintended consequences than, than intended ones sometimes. But SMART knows what to plan and what to leave alone. So for example, we have to plan, great, we have to plan, uh, we have to plan for climate change, uh, but there's no point in going berserk and installing uh, immature technologies in buildings in an effort to make them zero carbon uh, now because that will actually have another kind of lock-in effect, which is it'll inhibit future change to those. Smart would be to start changing people's and corporate behavior, and use public money and purchasing power to kickstart a market and energy efficiency retrofit, which will also provide jobs. A market of the scale that's needed will generate innovations and mature technologies uh, to take us to the next step. And finally, smart is, and this I have to say this, and I believe it passionately as an architect and, um, and some, some uh, an urbanist, we have to recognize what a huge difference the quality of cities, buildings, and spaces makes to people's lives. Everyone recognizes that the quality of opportunities and services is critical to people's happiness, but we don't give enough attention to the settings in which these are delivered, uh, however much we think we do. It wasn't always the case. Look at the pictures I showed earlier. Top-down diktats regarding the design quality of buildings can only go so far. In the long term, we have to, as citizens, become more critical and more empowered thereby, more aware of our surroundings. 